Hello everyone, Tiny the Chibi's here. Like, I am. I would like to take a moment to say I am fucking stupid as fuck. I don't know fucking how, but I lost an earring, and I'm so upset. And I went and looked for it, and I was planning on recording episodes a lot earlier and sooner. But I was looking for my earring and I couldn't find it and I'm just like, ugh. Like, I have no idea where it went. It might have gone down the drain. I hope not. It might be somewhere in my bed, but I can't fucking find it. I feel- and I'm fucking sick. Again. No, I'm not like- it's not like anything bad. I think it's just a fucking cold. Um... Because I'm a dumbass and I like fell asleep with the fucking fan up in my face. If the Tenryo Commission won't assist in dealing with the thunderstorm, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's not that we're unwilling to do our part. We just don't have any spare hands right now. I hope you can understand. I don't think exactly. I'm gonna make it, honestly. So I'll be honest. Going, but see we'll see what I can do. <laughs> I can't even what fight. Like. I'm so upset I can't f uh, hearing, you, you know? We were just talking about what an impact you've made in Inazuma. Greetings. Thank you both again for delivering Miss Hiragi's letter that time. <sighs> ah, so they're friends of yours. I'm Master Kamaji's servant. Call me Ife. Well, I could probably go to bed, honestly. To information for the Shogun. But I'm gonna see how much I can record in one signed. episode. But recently, she announced that she wishes to spend some time in solitude and self-reflection. Since she is refusing to receive any visitors, there is no one to tell us what to do. We all understand if the Shogun needs some quiet time to gather her thoughts. The only problem is, in the meantime, the thunderstorm out at sea has been getting wilder. Yep, that's the one. And all the time it's been there, the storm has never changed in shape or size. But now, it seems to be drawing closer to Inazuma. What? to worry about that. The reason we're concerned is that we've never known the almighty Shogun's will to falter before. Considering Liyue's god left not too long ago, it's hard not to take it as a bad sign. A lot of people now believe that the thunderstorm is getting wilder because the almighty Shogun is having health problems. The fact that she won't see anyone right now makes us concerned that things are only going to get worse. That seems like a lot of concern. Right. So, before rumors start spreading, Miss Kamisato got me to come here and discuss countermeasures with the Tenryo Commission. We need to make sure we're prepared to deal with the chaos if and when it arrives. Unfortunately, the reality is that the Tenryo Commission is facing huge internal instability at the moment. The Kujo clan has lost control of the other clans. The Kujo clan is still awaiting the Shogun's trial for colluding with the Fatui and nearly destroying the whole of Inazuma. Everyone knows that a change of commission is inevitable. Have my Aaron could have it's just a matter of time before the Almighty Shogun hands down her decree. To put it simply, no one will take orders from the Kujo clan anymore. But there's something <sighs> that has to be done. If Mr. Takayuki was in better health, there might be a way through. But now? My lack of ability is to I failed to uncover the truth in time. I failed to stop my father. And now, as acting head of the clan, I'm above the unrest. Don't blame yourself, Master. You have to at least keep your chin up until your older brother returns. The Kujo clan can't take the current state. Oh. Masahito has enough on his plate at the moment. Some cause any more issues. Sorry. Uh, let's revisit this discussion in a few days. Right now, I need to go visit Takatsukasa Susumu, head of the Takatsukasa clan. He's the only one capable of. But I can't breathe at the point. You know? God, we're there. Let's make Well, okay, no problem. 
A speedy resolution to the Tenryo Commission's sure. internal issues is in our best interest as well. I'll come with you, Master. No need. I'll handle this one. Oh. Okay. Take care then. Come back soon. I just want to another pair of earrings. I don't want to spend money. <sighs> the decision to take some time off, right? If things carry on like this, people will start to panic. <laughs> I wish if they if there was only one answer they wouldn't. Don't know for sure. But you know. may as well try. Whether she takes us up on the offer or not will depend on what mood she like if if it's Sounds only like one answer, and you have autoplay, they should just them? automatically click it for you, is what no, I'm saying. Everyone's worrying about the show it's only if condition. there's more than one answer. But if people got to see her in person, it would put their fears to rest. Ah, thank you very much. I owe you one, again. The way Paimon sees it, there's only one person who might have the chance to see the Shogun while she's isolating, right? Let's take a trip to the Grand Narukami Shrine! Is this just me or did he say Lumine? I thought he said Lumine. But I don't think he said Lumine. Hmm. I accidentally unplugged the controller while I was shifting again. So, my bad. But it's okay. I fixed it. I kind of just want to just throw everything off my bed just to see if I can find my earring. But I feel like that would lead me nowhere. Because I don't even know if it's actually my bed. Oh. I was like, who the fuck are we talking to? This bitch over here. I wasn't He's got Lisa vibes and Lisa creeps me out. Humor me by engaging in some small talk first. Oh. Then again, I suppose your frankness is part of your charm. So tell me, what is the matter? We heard the Shogun decided to take a break, and since then the thunderstorm around Inazuma has gotten wilder. Rumor has it that the thunderstorm is affected by the Shogun's will. So people are worrying that something might be wrong with her. Something also needs her attention. <laughs> All right. There's little purpose in keeping anything hidden from you anyway. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled, and her temperament has changed drastically. Temperaments change. Her power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. It also didn't help that I forgot to bring her some tricolor dongo and light novels when I went to see her. Oh, the poor thing. Without desserts and books to console herself with, she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and raving. Oh. I could hardly bear to see her that way. You expect us to believe that a god would throw a temper tantrum over something like that? Stop being. <laughs> Before you get too indignant, consider the fact that your concerns sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. Hey, seeks eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. 
Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? Uh, you're saying she's fine, right? I don't know the details. She said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing pressing that requires her attention. So there is no reason to disturb her. I have this heard open? about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable <laughs> that, as you suggest, I found candy that I forgot about. I mean, it's not that old. I mean, I forgot about it, but it's not that old. It's like maybe a week or two old since I bought it. I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit her while she is resting. But tell me, why should this concern me? Why should I do this for you, when I already have everything one could ever want, and have seen everything one could ever wish to see? Hmm. <laughs> I like that answer. Here is the pass permit. Show it to the Okuzumeshu at the gate, and he will let you in. My question was in jest, but since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. Off I go. Almighty Shogun has requested solitude. No visitors allowed. Oh, who's got a pass permit from Miko? Don't be ridiculous. Lady Guji never gives her pass permit to another person. Not even esteemed travelers like yourselves. Guji Yai is only authorized to hold that pass permit because of the trust that the Almighty Shogun places in her and her alone. Wait, this is authentic. Understood. Then as the Shogun has ordered, I must not stand in your way. Apologies. Please proceed. Since the Shogun is resting at this time, please be especially respectful and make sure your behavior is impeccable. <laughs> I just remembered um, a video I saw where Venti and Zhang Li were like dancing to like a song called CPR and um, um, A was essentially like I guess singing freaking misery and then people kept so saying something about Reese's Puffs or something. Right now she's pacing back and forth. Don't you think she looks a little anxious? How did you get in? Trespassers are to be eliminated at once. Didn't we? Also, we got in by totally legitimate means! Denied. Use of force has been forbidden. <sighs> anyway, be gone. Do not disturb my solitude. That is of no concern. This is my recuperation state. Uh, what do you make of this? She's acting strange, huh? Do puppets really need- This body has no need of rest. But I am an assistant to the one within. If she wishes to rest, I must follow her will. Paimon gets it, so this is all Abe's doing. But why? Surely you going about your business doesn't interfere with the plane of Euthymia. She's got plenty of 
space in there. Seems like it would be the perfect place for rest and relaxation. I do as she wishes. I can say no more than this. Hmm. Everyone's worried about... I cannot. In my current state, even if I went out, I could do nothing. I am currently unwilling to deal with any business. I am also incapable of it. Because uh, she's a robot. Hmm. It Ooh. has been forbidden. <sighs> Please refrain from making me talk any further. What should we do? Feels like this conversation is going nowhere. Are you malfunction? Ah, it suits you. It's been a while. The Shogun can't do much at the moment. Come straight in and see me. Hmm. I probably should set an alarm so I can wake up tomorrow. Because I've ordered groceries. Where the fuck? Like, you know. I truly hope I fucking did not fuck up and my earring did not get lost and fall out of my hair or my ear in the shower because it probably would mean it went down the drain. I would rather have lost it when I was brushing my hair or come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in like when I was laying down on my bed. The problem is trying to figure out how. Uh, that was terrifying. Would it be too hard to give us a little warning first? Huh, sure, it's not your on. first time. I don't see what there is to be so alarmed about. Oh. So, is the shotgun broken? Are you gonna get it fixed or? Don't worry. The shogun's not broken. I've just. Temporarily disabled many of her functions. Currently, the Shogun is unable to handle any business and cannot appear as me. So the easiest solution was to announce that I am resting. What she meant by forbidden? As I said, I <coughs> think of it in as soon as eternity. And thinking takes time. That it is. Shogun is still running based on her old rules. I can't allow her to make any mistakes while I am working things out. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> no. She was not created to ever be turned off. Furthermore, I had even predicted at the time that I may wish to modify the Shogun's operational rules at some point in the future. However, such changes would not be conducive to eternity. Sorry, I'm just trying to make myself feel better for being retarded. As I am. For I am stupid. I just want to know where my fucking earring went. <laughs> I mean, is it so good? That's yourself. why the Shogun has a robust system to safeguard against modification. It's also to protect against unforeseen circumstances. For now, while I figure out the form that eternity should take, it's more effective for me to temporarily <coughs> disable some of the puppet's functions, rather than attempt to modify her rules. Oh, Paimon gets it now. The thunder starts getting out of control because some of the Shogun's functions have been... <coughs> Getting out of control? This is the first I've heard of it. Huh? Okay, well, let us bring you up to speed. Up to speed, we shall bring her. Hmm, I see. So the thunderstorm is drawing closer. You can fix it, right? It's just a minor error. This kind of thing was bound to happen. A small modification to the Shogun should fix it. Mm. Don't look at me like that. 
I've never had to tinker with the Shogun before, and she's very complicated. It's practically inevitable for something to go wrong when you start tweaking things. Well, yes, that's it. I'm not making excuses. It's the truth. That's fine. Just as long as you can fix it as well. <sighs> not much. As before, I can see the way forward, yet there are still contradictions. But there is no urgency. To reach an ill-conceived verdict in haste, just for the sake of having reached one, would be a confusion of priorities. Come with us, change your pace. Mm -hmm. I can still hear me, right? It'll put all the speculation and rumors out there to rest. And who knows? A change of scenery might put you in a different mood and give you some fresh inspiration. Uh, you mean leave the plane of Euthymia? I mean, what else would we need, Chica? But. Yes, you're right. After all, the Shogun is currently unable to take care of business on my behalf. All right, then. I'll come out for a while. Oh, since the theme of the day is a change of pace, you can just call me A. I'm not a great fan of rigid titles. What? But you're just A's consciousness, aren't you? Can consciousness actually leave this place? I have my ways. I would never subject myself to imprisonment voluntarily. Oh, great! Then there's nothing to worry about. Allow us to be your tour guide. Tour guides? What's a tour guide? Someone to show you around the Inazuma of today and give you tips on where to eat and how to have fun. All right, let's go, go, go! The hearing would have to be somewhere. Keyboard in this fucking thing is just fucking somewhere. But I don't fucking know. But like, where the fuck could it have gone, you know? Wait, was that my earring? No. Is this the one that I had before? Maybe. Where'd the other one go? Great. Now I don't remember if this is the earring that I lost, or if this is the earring that I have. Because I think I took off the other one. Because I was like, there's no point in wearing one and being fucking retarded. But I don't know if this is the earring I lost. Yes! Yes, it has to be! Because... Fucking, I remember putting the other earring in a, the little thing where I fucking roll my dice, which is across the room. So, huzzah! I have found my earring. It was, thankfully, on my fucking bed. Hallelujah. I forgot I don't have venti. I am sad. I am sad penta. So, now that I fucking found my earring... I can now not be worried, which means I, well, no, but yes, because like I claw, I declaw, 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 declaw. <gasps> I took a bunch of hair out of my drain in my in the tub to see if I if it fell down there, and I was gonna be like, well, I did that for nothing, but God damn it. Why must I do these things to myself? Tuyo no Why? Put something over here down there. I didn't know you were such a slacker. I 
tore my back though, so. Like, why does my life hate me? I just want to do the stupid ass commission, but no. Everything wants to get in my way, you know? It's very upsetting. Oh, my earrings. Gone. Okay. Yay! Man. But now I can do A's mission, which is good. I didn't have to do much, so. That's good, good. That's good for me. Okay. Back to doing A's mission. Just so that I can. <coughs> Navigate. What's the hurry? Oh, is this the marketplace? It's a far cry from how I remember it. Huh. The stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's the Shogun. What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. <sighs> I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The Almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit. Doesn't the Shogun know? Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. Oh, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. I... Uh, never mind. Let's definitely see what your style is. People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Sorry. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plane of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? I wish we talk about more. Anyway, people seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. Uh, people aren't exactly gonna let their hair down in front of the Almighty Shogun. We didn't even talk to him. Hmm. What is this doll selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Right round, baby, right round. Like a retro baby, right round, round, round. You will spin me right round, baby. Ah, oh. Ruin my groove! Shogun, I, uh, <laughs> excuse me. 
That was a pause. It's all right. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. Huh? Milk? Sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but it is, in fact, my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Ah, oh, dango with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by dango and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like she's different than I expected? Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many dango, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had use for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. Both dango and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm, interesting. May I try this drink? The almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. Hmm. The sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <laughs> a unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this dongo milk must sell exceptionally well, no? It doesn't. Uh, well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please, don't take it the wrong way. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that can be fixed. I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. No, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. I. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I would l uh, No. No need. That would be needlessly indulgent. Ah. <sighs> There's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way, Nico mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Sure! Let's go and have a look! Hmm. Okay. I need to clean. But I'm tired and, you know. Traveling is so much more pain in the body. And you don't have venti to just kind of float about. It's fine. Oh. Almighty Shogun, what brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. 
Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. Apologies. I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management? Or publishing regulations? Or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The almighty Shokin wishes to read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public. And the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the almighty Shokin's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fun. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Boop. Well, okay then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. Uh, I've just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um, don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay, let's go then. The question now is which book do I give her? Huh. I know. How can this be? <laughs> Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? Click. I know every individual word in these books' titles. So why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. <laughs> it's so long. Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device. Narrative device. It's whatever the author wants it to be. So it's made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Charles can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, kind of starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Too modern, I guess. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you the scoop. Alright then. I believe myself to be relatively well read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Nico's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. Alright, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. You want to know which book I picked? This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. <laughs> I remember I picked... Um... The chaotic is a tale of my youthful love life. The book is about a love story between a very mediocre man and, a, and seven beautiful women. It's a clown-like account of a protagonist daily life featuring many amusing intros. The writing is solid and prose elegant. The author's brilliant brings out the unique charm of each character in the story. But the story stops at a critical moment when the main character is shadowed. So you know, she's supposed to confess their love to him. This girl has loved the main character with all her heart since childhood. Oh, she found Yeah! Her. She has so much love to give. She deserves it! The plot is really gripping. But would A really understand this kind of mortal romance? Life made me a fighter when I just wanted to be a writer. This is Jin Kyu, I'm sure. The book is a martial art story set in Louis Fo Louis Louis? Louis? 
really? Whatever. Focused on fighting between different things. The protagonist aspires only to become a humble novelist, but gets caught up in the world of gang strife, becoming because of the unparalleled martial arts ability. The selling point of the story is the protagonist never joins any faction, but is constantly assumed to be the recluse master of one faction or another. Martial artist pro, who sees the protagonist as their enemy, are always making a scene. Protagonist stuck in the middle of all this, all the while clinging tightly to the dream of becoming a novelist. What is a strange person? Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Don't ask me, she accused life. That's the one I picked for A. Shogun Almighty, reborn as a Raiden with unlimited power. In this book, the protagonist is stuck by lightning beneath a dark thunder sakura and wakes up to discover he has become the Raiden Shogun. Prior to this event, the protagonist is a nobody who gets bullied by everyone, but after becoming the Raiden Shogun, acquires unlimited power. The appeal of this one probably lies in the or euphoria of going from powerless to op open it and in the pro protagonist's inner journey to finally break free from their low self-esteem. But it's hard to see how the story would develop after the protagonist becomes the root. With a premise like this, it's no wonder Kuroda was nervous about letting A look around. It's not so much as, you know, I actually understand that one. That one's more of an inner journey. It's like man versus self type shenanigans because it's not so much as you know the fighting and the war and shit it's dealing with the inner conflicts and any possibility like there's a lot of like you know stuff like that where you know the main character is OP and shit but like having to deal with all the drama and stuff like that of their life and you know scenarios that happen just because they're par all powerful doesn't mean they can control the world. You know? Because still things, still things still affect them and all that stuff. Hyman thinks it might be best not to <coughs> this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of stuff this Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. I think cuz like when I give her the book the book about the leeway one on my main account she she was all like well, where you know I want to talk to this you know person and you know bring them here so that they can do their thing and you were like oh no he doesn't exist it's just a story you know the looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. The Shogun story. You're reborn as a writing with all the prey. Hey! Paimon thought we agreed not to bring that one up. You said that, not me! It's okay. I find it quite interesting. I didn't realize that this was how ordinary people viewed the Shogun. She would never use the Muso no Hitotachi as frivolously as she does in the pages of this book. Nor would she ever use it as a means of venting emotions. In reality, the reason for drawing her blade determines the martial form to use and the degree of power with which to imbue it. Since there is such a great deal of difference between the story and the reality, I don't feel offended at all. On the contrary, I find the author's powers of imagination quite admirable. That said, I hear that Yai Publishing House's novels are all reviewed by Miko herself. Which means that the content of this book must have been approved by her. In fact, no. It may even have been her idea in the first place. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we pick? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent 
in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai publishing house, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. Sounds like there's a pause for me to push the button. I didn't even walk out the room. Change is inevitable. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes. And I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out. To take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember. But one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's gotta be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. Sorry, I'm back. I want to go get my ice cream that I bought earlier. Don't mention it. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Abe had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it. Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay. Come with us. We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean. Probably going to die. This is, I think that's real ice cream. <laughs> and I can't handle ice, real ice cream. Not really. It makes my tummy hurt. So, uh, what are we supposed to be doing? We're taking a photo of you. Just leave the hard work to us. All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose. Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time, so it makes a great souvenir! Okay, so what exactly is striking a pose? Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Ah, the more I think about it, the more embarrassing it seems. How should I pose? Help me out here. It should look good, but not too over the top. <sighs> this isn't coming naturally to me at all. Casually. Uh, how about this? This feels quite natural. Okay, let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment from.
guess I'll save it. Oh. I really don't care for A. But I didn't. I did get her for my. Um, like, I want to get all the Archons just so I can say I have all the Archons. This is astonishing. Is it some kind of magic? It seems to be another copy of me. But she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk. I thought it would turn out poorly because I felt rather rigid. But it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same. And so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. That's what makes it so special. Hang on. I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. So, the one in this photo, are you sure it isn't me? If it's not me, then why does she look exactly like me? And if she is me, then who am I? Uh, okay, that's way above time, Unted. Over to you, traveler. Hey, that's right. Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. So the existence is singular. My existence... Hmm... <clears throat> I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence, too. Hmm. So even I, who seeks eternity, am constantly changing my form of existence. Then, how can I ask Inazuma and everyone who lives here to remain unchanging? I went to go free the kittens from the room. Might regret that, but we'll see. Everything <coughs> I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. Probably should have said he You've was seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Because that's more Maybe you can't tell, corrective. But all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. But it would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the Statue of the Omnipresent God were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. <laughs> Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! And that means that we've done a really great job as a surprise! Master Kamaji! Master Kamaji! Why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe. What could be the matter? Ipe? Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? Oh, shit. Yep, let's find out what's going on. It looks like I need to end this episode. Because it is going to be a long episode. So, for now, I need to be is a signing out.